Hello, people of the internet. Wow, look at all my gel pens. Yes, I am a little bit of a gel pen addict. So come, let's take a look <laughs> at my complete gel pen collection. Yeah, this is just a, actually a small portion of all my gel pens. So uh, I'm going to move all these out of the way. And I'm going to take the camera off of there and then I'm going to I'll show you around all my gel pens. Now, let me preface this video by saying what you may look at and think, my God, that's way too many gel pens, may not be the same for me. I love gel pens. I'm a gel pen addict. I review gel pens. <laughs> um, there's various reasons why I may have more gel pens than you on what or why you may think this is too many gel pens. Now I'm not saying it's not too many gel pens, but you know, what what I do with my money and my gel pen addictness and what you do, two totally different things. So don't judge me on that. This is entertainment value only. But let me start by saying I love using gel pens to color, not just to add details to pages, but to fully color pages with. So this page is all done in gel pens and this page is all done in gel pens and this page all gel pens and this page all gel pens and there's more there's more in this book and there's more in other books so I like having a range of gel pens to dip into to review to decide which is best and that's why I have so many so, if you have a little judgy hat on at the moment and you're looking thinking, oh my word, that's way too many gel pens, just take that little judgy hat off for a second and just suspend disbelief for a little bit as we dive into my collection of gel pens. And my collection is not hurting you, so just enjoy the journey. So, here you are. Look, this is where I usually sit when I'm talking to you. That's where my pens live and... But I've moved you and you're on the tripod. Ooh, how exciting. And we are going to look into do, 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 the gel pen drawer. Ah. Now I need to move you guys out a little bit, I think, so that we can get the whole drawer in. So let's have a look what's in this drawer. First of all, there's this. Um, these are not really my sets, I don't think. These are more like the oddities. So maybe what I'll do is, yeah, I'll go through them in the drawer. That way we can sort of like, you can see, you can see how many gel pens I don't need to buy. Um, so this, this little box here was a set of, what came in this box was a set of cheap gel pens from, from Sainsbury's, I think. And what I've used it for is I've put all the glitter neon pens from my Colour Technique set uh, in there. I used to have the whole, um, 100, is it 100 or 80? 80 set in a pen case. But I found that I never used these ones because every time I reached for a one and it came out neon, I was like, oh, I didn't want neon. <laughs> um, and then I've also got these, which came, these were actually the first set of gel pens I bought in my new era of colouring. And I was used to gel pens being either Jelly Roll, which were fabulous. This is like 10 years ago, right? Jelly Rolls were the best pens. Um, so you either got Jelly Rolls or you got cheap ones from the supermarket. There was no real in between. There was no Colour Technique or Tanmit or ZCSM. <laughs> it was gel pens or cheap ones from the supermarket. And when I started colouring again, these went down. There was like a special deal of the day, 4 99 or something for, I can't remember how many it was um 40 maybe 48 something like that and i bought them and i swatched them and i was like oh my word they're really good gel pens these are the neons the glitter ones you'll see later on the metallic ones it came with 12 that's it it came with 12 neons 12 12 glitter 12 metallic and 12 pastel the pastel ones have gone i gave them away uh the metallic are in a box with other metallic oddities and I've put these neons in here with the Colour Technique neons. Now, that was a long story just to cover those in there. But I'm not a massive fan of the neons, which is why I've sort of got them separated out. 
what we got in, in here next well let's have a look at this little box first of all this little box is the metallic ones of that set that i just said about and also these metallic ones which came in the hobby craft set i've done a review on it years ago i'll link it up there it's one of the first videos i i did when i came back to youtube in in the adult coloring arena um was i swatched out the hundred and no 50 hobby craft pens and they're they're in there so they're the oddity metallic ones in there next what's in this one okay this one is what is this one <laughs> random pens i found around the house and lids i think um yeah i'm not sure what they are but they're obviously ones oh they're, they're the, what's left of my hobby craft ones so yeah there's a lid there look there's four lids in here without pens but well there's a pen that needs a lid probably the lids are falling off of them yes left of what what's left of the glitter hobby craft ones are in there and then this little batch, interestingly, that must be where the red lid goes. Do, do, do. Yeah, probably not not working. And oh, and the blue lid. Woohoo! This little batch here are the standard gel pens that came in that hobby craft selection. So they all just live in there. It's like what's left kind of thing. Right, what's next after that? There is this <laughs> little box, which is what's left of the gel pens from that first set that I bought. So remember I told you there was neons, there was metallics, and these are the, the gel ones that are left. I should really amalgamate all the glitter ones and just use them as a, as a dipping box. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll do a random color generator for dippings. Are we getting through to any sets yet? No, what's in this pot? This pot is, oh no, these are the glitter ones from the, are they? <laughs> They've got numbers on them. Yeah, these are definitely from the hobby craft set. So what are they then? The non-glitter ones? The ones that are not so good? I don't know, but I'm going to amalgamate those two pots after this because I don't know anymore what they are, what the difference is. This set, this is old stuff in here. These are an odd Signo two odd signos that I think I got for 50p in the works and my oh, a third old, old signo another 50p I think they were doing all the colours for 50p so I got one of each and these are my old old more than 10 years old jelly roll pens that still work I made a video about using your pens because they dry up but these babies they still work so they're, they're in there so that's like jelly rolls and signos I think we then get to the packets. Yes, right. <laughs> the gel, the, the uh, gel pen drawer. These are refills. Currently on the go refills. So they're the Chroma. Uh, these are the Color Technique refills, and these are the Chroma Tech refills. Set of thirty, and this is a set of eighty. So I dip into those. Basically that's one of these boxes <laughs> decanted into there but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it what else we got here we've got an open packet of link shine now open but the reason why they're in the packet is when i do a demonstration i like to bring out the packet and show that where they're from and then back here i'm not sure if you can see the back here probably i have two unopened packets of link shine do you remember when Link Shine were the pens to get? Yes, I bought three packets. <laughs> uh, and then I have the same with Flare. So there's two unopened ones there. Someone, oh, I know where the open ones are. The open ones are in my travel bag. So there's two packs of Flare. Yes, when they were cheap and everyone was buying them, I bought three packets. So that's my Flares. Then we have some real jelly rolls. We have jelly roll stardust and jelly roll moonlight, both of which I bought fairly recently and I'm wanting to do a video and compare them. That's why they haven't been opened yet. Okay, then this this level of crazy. <laughs> this this can actually come out. 
this was when I had all my colour technique in a pen case. I separated all the refills into tubes so that I could slip the tubes into the pen case as well. So you can see I've got quite a few empty tubes now because obviously where I've used them, so they're empty. That's only got one in it, they're empty. So what I need to do is, is take these out and decant them into that, into this storage of refills that I use now. So they can, there's not many left of them actually, like there used to be like lots of them. Right, what have we got here? We have, donk, 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 three packets of the um, medium, three, oh, there are two mediums and one bold. These were on a super discount sale somewhere, like they were $1.99 or something. So I bought two of the medium and two of the bold, the pens that I use the most. Yeah, look, there they are sitting there, totally unused. So, um, maybe i'll give a set away at the end of this video hmm, interesting if you're still watching i'll tell you how to enter um a couple of that's another odd one out of that set right then we have my backup set no longer available going into the gel pen museum my set of color technique set of 80 glitter glitter gel pen I bought these, they were phenomenal, I bought a set of refills, then they started going out of stock and they said there was only two left in stock, and I think I bought these when there was one left in stock, they never came back into stock. These are like my precious, my precious. <laughs> then what happened is I contacted Colour Technique and said, um, are you ever bringing those pencils back, our pens back? And they said, probably not. But we do have some refills that are going to come into stock. So they did. They came into stock in Amazon. So I bought another box. I think that was $7.99. I thought, great. I've got a backup set and I've got a backup set of refills. That's all I need. And then on Amazon, the sets went down to $3.99. There was four sets left. I bought two of them. So I have effectively three complete sets, an unbox, and one complete set in there, and then whoop, whatever's left in these tubes. <laughs> so, but they are, in my eyes, the best, sorry, you can see my feet. <laughs> sorry if you don't like feet, that was my feet. I'll tuck them behind me. Um, I have enough colour technique for any colour technique emergency. Right, next. Right, what do I have here? I have four packs of the uh, Poundland ones. And these are the ones, when these came out, I remember Penny, Pebbles Colouring, said that these were exactly like the, uh, the Works, which is a UK company pens, which were excellent. And they have a brown in them. It's very unusual for cheap you know supermarket pound dollar store pens to have a brown in them so next time i walked past the pound land i dipped in there and i bought i actually bought five sets there's four here and there's one decanted in my coloring bag as it were and then these are the glorious no longer exist cannot get any more um the works pens and these are the original no wait Wait, these are the works. Yeah, these are the works. This, this is what the works replaced them with. And these are the Poundland ones. I think that's right. Yeah, that's correct. Because these are the Poundland ones. So, that's all my cheap pound shop pens. I just can't get to the back there, but we will pull them out, pull them forward. Actually, let's, should I move you forward? A little bit. There we go. What we got here? Huh? Oh, what we've got here is we've got an open pack of flare. So that's where the open pack of flare are. <laughs> then we've got... <gasps> These are the fake uh, gel hybrids. The ones that are like really cheap, but are just as good as the gel hybrid. And then I have... <laughs> These are the... 
are they the, no they must be the original pound land yeah that's what they are these were the original pound pound land and people said to me they've got a brown in them go and get them so i went and bought five packs that's the open ones i'm using and these are back stock and then when the new ones came out and people said to me they're in the people said to me i come so easily influenced aren't i these are the new pound land ones so i i have effectively got nine packs of pound land pens well done pound land <laughs> you've got 10 pound of my money these are the can no longer get hold of them what happened why did they bring them out and then not do them anymore elusive and wonderful arteza iridescent markers like the gel hybrid pens they are phenomenally good hence why i'm not using them because i don't want them to go <laughs> and then finally tucked at the back here is the big set of scribblicious pens now i bought these when i first started coloring again from the works you get 12 pastel 12 neon 12 metallic 12 glitter 12 fluorescent of which i don't use pastel i don't really use metallic that much I don't use fluorescent and I'm not a fan of neon glitter <laughs> but I bought them because they came in a nice box and they do come in a nice box they are in a lovely box I love this box the way that they open and everything but you know I'm never going to use them so I think I'm going to let them go I might actually send them to someone um, who uh, a colorist here on YouTube uh, I will contact you on DM and if, if you would like these I will send them to you because I don't think I'm ever going to use those. Anyway, the drawer is empty. Yay! But if you think that's all, then you haven't... Ooh. Oh, how did this appear? Look at these magic gel pens here. Let's zoom you in a little bit and have a look at these next thing. Okay. So these are my existing, current, inflow, using color technique so i have them in this box i have them swatched out um like i said i did used to have these in a pen case um but i i found opening the pen case flipping to the color this is the order that this swatch sheet is the order that they were in in the pen case there's the fluorescent ones that i've taken out and put into that other case that i showed at the beginning and i just find it more easier enjoyable i suppose to dig through and find the colors I got this pen set from a uh, box from Hobbycraft in the UK, but it is just a standard floss. Um, the ones with the dividers that you can remove. So you can remove the dividers, and I have obviously removed the dividers, and then it fits the gel pens in it just beautifully. I actually prefer to have that up like that, look. And then you can see it, and it looks like a magical, expensive set of pens. So that's what's in that box and then what's in this box well i think it's time for us to move up to the um to the desk so we'll move up to the desk for this one so let's just make sure the drawer's empty because i've got to put all of these <laughs> that are now on here back in there oh wait what's that every time i open and shut the door more gel pens appear okay so what's what's in this box then let's let's pick this box up as well and, and and put that on the desk um also down here is my doodlers um set of zebra doodlers which weren't in the drawer so um should we should we try one more time to see if any more magically appear when i open the drawer oh i knew they would well, this is my gel pen over spill box and this sits by the side of the desk usually um, this is the color technique the sorry this is the chromatec that you saw me recently buy in my haul linked up there if you haven't seen it where i got them for super cheap price and um in the panic situation that i was going to never have enough gel pens i bought four packs of them <laughs> i already had the 50 pack which as you can see are un unopened i do have one pack of the 30s open and being used and then in here right shout after me you can never buy any more gel pens in here let's turn it around i have the tan mitt which I have done a compare and review on and I was very unlucky with my tan mitt and I had an exploding one 
which you'll see in the video if you watch it. I'm not sure if I threw it away or not, or whether I put a new refill on it. I think I tried to wash it out and put the refill in it. So, yes, anyway, the tan mitt. Got them all the way. Got them sent to me, actually. They were sent to me by a lovely subscriber. And then I have the ZCSM. And then I have the K's XL. And then I have the Colour Yar Metallic and Glitter. And then I have the Castle Arts, which I don't actually want. And they're going to be sold when I remember to do it. And then, and why do I have the King Art Metallic and the Scribblicious, just the neon? No, are they just the neon ones? No, they're like a, I don't know, I bought them for a pound. <laughs> I was going to do a review of them, but yeah, I didn't. And then I have, because one day these were going for 4 99 on Amazon. They are 24 pens and 24 refills and they are the K's XL ones and I wanted for that money I wanted to try them and compare them to how they worked with you know how they compared with colour techniques so if they was a good when colour techniques stopped being made I wanted to find a replacement for them that I could recommend so that's what I bought them ones for all right so let's just take a little step back zoom up a little bit and we still got to go through that box and <laughs> that box there so let me turn you up onto the desk clear this mess and go through them boxes this is when i say to people of the internet you know I didn't need to buy any more gel pens. I have enough gel pens to sink a gel pen battleship. Look at this, look at this. It's like a store of gel pens. I remember feeling like this when I did went through my alcohol markers. But this, this is how you determine. You put like with like, and then you go through it and decide what do I keep and what do I let go. I've already decided I'm letting these go. So hey, we've moved forward a bit already. But anyway, let me get you up there. Let me get you screwed to the to the tripod and let's let's have a deep dive into into what's in this box. Don't get me wrong, I started this video saying what might be too many pen um glitter gel pens or gel pens may not be too much for me. I'm not daft. This is too much for me too. No more gel pens. So onto my list with no more pencils is no more gel pens. Okay. <gasps> We are about half an hour later. I have just gone through everything and tidied up that drawer. I have taken out so the, the pencils that were just glitter. I've merged them all together into one box. But I've got to get a lid for it. But they're all the glitter pens now. They're all the metallic pens now. Right. Um, I've just got to take these out and put them in with the refills. So I shall do that after. And we are going to look <laughs> at, first of all, what is in here <laughs> which is these are all gel pens too these are all non glitter gel pens Let's move that to one side so move it here and then we can have a look so they are the ones that i bought recently in my latest haul two sets of cause obs um another them two that I bought in my latest haul because obs a set of the papermate gel pens this is the biggest set I think they do the 14 set I also have an open set of these in a pencil case which I'm gonna get if we're gonna look at this we're doing con marie like we like might have fa accidentally found another set as well when I was just getting these out so this is a Kipling oh look Kip oh, my husband's dropping things on the floor again must be nearly lunchtime this is yes this is where my paper mate these uh, ink joys live um and there's other ones in here as well i used to be very much into ink pens when i was doing i was very much into gel ink pens gel pens non-glitter gel pens when i was uh, journaling and scrapbooking and that kind of thing okay so that's all the paper mate 
Ink Joy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, possibly. And then in here, we also have Uniball Signos. I used to love these. The white, the black, the blue, they're excellent for, to, for writing over paint, they were, when I used to do art journaling. That's why I have those. And then Signo, what are these? Uniball point fives, point sevens. Oh, there's another, there's another one of those. Pink Joy. And then these are all. They're point seven. That's point five. Yeah, they're all the colour one. They're called something like colour sticks or something, are they? Signo gel stick. Yeah, point seven. So again, they're all gel pens. I usually try to have all of the same pens facing the same way, and then the other ones in here face in the other way and then up the lid there look I've got a couple of couple of the zebra sarasa sarasa various different colors that I was using in my journaling back in the day but they are all oh, and a pilot g2 as well <laughs> so they're all they're more there of the gel pens non glitter type of gel pens um, and I also have in the non-glitter gel pen, I have these from Arteza, which I, look at that, one of, the, one of the things came broke. One of the, you know, the clips broke. Um, these were on a super special price when I first started making videos again in 2020, October 2020. So I bought them to review and they're still here waiting to be reviewed. Um, and then I bought because I was going to try to find, do a review on gel pens, non-metallic gel pens, uh, or what are the best, I also bought these two for review. And I also, now that's it for the comparing non-metallic gel pens. <laughs> and someone's asked me recently that same question, so I'm gonna to get to that. And then I have in this box, these are also non-metallic gel pens which are pretty much the same as the Eeyuk ones. They are the same. I, they are the same, really. 0.5 millimeter, 0.5 millimeter, 0.5 millimeter. This is the good thing about putting like with like, is that you can see, what was in here, 24. Are they the same? They could well be, couldn't they? Well, you know what's next coming then, don't you? Comparing all of them, seeing if they're the same, so that you can only spend your money on one and not, not be crazy like me. <laughs> so let's put all these back in this, this box because I know they're all together for review purposes. Look at that, look at that. That's what happens when you review pens on the internet. Then also in that section, I had these, the doodlers. I do think I've got a review of these on my channel. I'll link it up there if I do, and if I don't, I should do one really. I was not mega enamoured by these. These come with um, uh, glitter neon pastel metallic, which is another reason why I'm never really that enamoured, because I just really like the glitter. Um, but I, I think I kept them to one side because I was going to compare the standard ones because it came with a nice range of standard colours, 10 or 12 or something, with the um, the non-glitter gel pens in there. Are they bolder? Yeah, they are. They're one millimetre. They could be the, the, the ones I'm looking for. These could be the key to my searching for non-glitter gel pens. And then... The last thing that I wanted to show you, so put these to one side because if you're still here, you know why I've put them to one side. Just leave them in the corner there, look. <laughs> the next thing I wanted to show you was this. <sighs> this was going to be my gel pen graveyard collection where they all live and they still might. Um, this is a, um, what's it called? really useful box and these on the top here are the shuttle art what was it 80 100 something like that shuttle art pens that i did a review on wasn't sure whether i was going to keep them wasn't sure if they were scratchy they are scratchy compared to chromatech and color technique 
I'll link the review up there unless I've run out of up theirs and then it'll be linked in the description um, and I put them in here and what I did is I went through and put because I don't know if, if you haven't seen that video you won't know what I'm talking about but the the, <laughs> the refills just come like this with the number of the tray they was in and I was like how am I gonna know when I mix them all up which ones was in tray six so I spent an, you know, a good hour or so with a dymo machine and then put in the number of the tray they was in so I could find the refill in at some other point so and now then now I've got them in you know in their color order so there's the yellows the oranges now what I want to do I want to mix in all these loosey-goosey ones I've got as well so um, I know someone's going to ask about this um, case itself and the bit underneath and all this kind of stuff so I'm going to do a separate video about that this is actually this video here is part one of my gel pen series which is first of all showing you what I've got and then second of all we're going to do some comparisons and some like with likes and my storage bits and pieces that I use and just a sort of like a whole gel pen series I was going to do it in July it was going to be called gel pen July but as ever <laughs> I'm running behind so it's gel pen August <laughs> um so yeah so I think that's it isn't it the only other thing oh no there is more there is more to show I have these and this was the case that I was talking about um, which fits gel pens in it uh, so these are the wider loops I featured this in my um, pencil case deep dive and this is where I keep the dual metallics that I have I don't know why they're in here because I don't actually use this anymore when all my color technique uh, pens were in it what I found was like I'd go because I use these like pencils because I use these like I want specifically that green to do a, a blend it made sense to have them in this type of pencil case because I'd go okay I want G8 I want G6 or whatever but then I found that first of all this is you know when it's full it's big to sort of travel with so I switched it over to I just had an avalanche <laughs> I switched it over to, to this but you know reality it's not much size difference um, and yeah I could put these at the back so I might revisit that you know I might revisit because this was one two three four five and it keeps them all together but and I do love the gel pens to have them in this oh what a dilemma and then maybe this can be the box where I, I look come back come back another day <laughs> Thanks for watching this one and if you've got to this FR, if you're in the UK, you're still watching to this point and you'd like these pens, put um, in the comments below uh, white jelly roll. Just You can put more stuff in there but white jelly roll is what I'll be looking for to, to draw the name out of the hat to, uh, so I can send you these because I really don't need three sets of these and I'd like someone to have them. So thanks very much for watching and uh, up to this point and stick around in the next few videos for um, my gel pen series while, while we deep dive into everything gel pen. <laughs>